guys, it's your girl Jackie O and welcome back to today's Fix It Friday. I need like a Fix It Friday jingle or something. Come on y'all, help me out. So today's video is Fix It Friday where we just put all of our makeup troubles out of the line and we debunk myths and we solve makeup problems. We're going to talk about makeup transferring, okay? This is normally a product that a lot of us brown girls experience, mainly because our foundations run so dark. So I don't know, a lot of you guys that are Caucasian or like Asian or, or just lighter in general, like is that something you deal with? I kind of feel like because your foundation is lighter, it may happen, but not as much because our foundation is brown, so it's just like such a huge contrast. But anyways, I'm rambling today. I'm feeling some type of way. I think I just ate too much candy earlier. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to stop makeup transferring. So basically, you know, when you come up to someone, you're wearing a face full of foundation, you hug them, and there goes half of your Studio Fix fluid. Like, seriously? What the hell? I'm going to show you and give you guys some tips on how you can minimize that. The first tip and this is kind of arguable, I guess you can say, is I would say use a primer. The primer is basically going to be used and formulated to give the foundation something to adhere to. So if your foundation, if there's no barrier in between your foundation and your skin, first of all, it's probably not very good for your skin. And second of all, like the foundation is not really going to have anything to grab onto. So I, in my personal opinion, I think using a primer helps tremendously. It's not a 100% foolproof, but... I think it does help to minimize it and you guys pretty much for the most part know what my favorites are but if you don't and you're new to my channel I will name them and list them down below and give you links to where you can find them I'm all about quick and easy so don't worry I got you second I always 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 say is set it with a powder I think between using the primer and setting it with a powder is going to keep the product locked in uh, whether it be a translucent setting powder a loose powder it really just depends on well, first of all, if you have dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But if you do have dry skin and your skin is just not powder friendly, this next product that I'm going to talk about is, I don't know, it's probably like the holy ghost of all products, period. After you've done your makeup and um, applied your, your primer, after you've set it with a powder, you need to use a setting spray. And not just any setting spray, you guys, because I've tried quite a few and I wasn't really team setting spray until I would say about maybe two months ago. The one in particular that I want to recommend to you guys is probably like every makeup artist's best kept secret. This one is called Ben Nye Final Seal. And I know the makeup gods are going to be pissed at me because I feel like this is the best thing since Banana Powder came out and everyone went wild about it. But this is not a new thing or anything like that. Ben Nye, for those of you guys that don't know, is more of a professional brand. So it's not really a brand that you're going to find at Sephora. It's not a brand you're going to find at your local Ulta. It's not even a brand that you'll find at like uh, a department store. It's a brand that you'll find like at a retailer like Nigel's here in LA, like Namie's, professional brands where you have to kind of like not show credentials to shop, but like more pro stuff, more costume and stage makeup. So Ben Nye is one of the like OG makeup brands. Their products are meant to look good from far away and stay put for hours on hot lights and to just lock everything in place. In my opinion, I've tried Urban Decay Setting Spray and I do like it. I've tried the Setting Spray from Sasha and I do like that one as well. But Final Seal, for those of you guys that need your makeup to not move at all, period, is what you're looking for. However, I want to give you some professional advice. It's not really something that I would recommend using every day. I don't think you need to be beat and snatched to capacity and spackled every single day. I think I do believe in giving your skin a break, letting your skin breathe, and that's why I do use alternatives. This is really something that I would probably use when I need my makeup to look good a long time or... Um, if I don't know if I have like a camera, if I know if I'm going to be on camera and I need to not sweat. Um, I think it's more of like a cake for special occasions versus your daily bread, like your other setting spray alternatives I listed earlier. But I mean, it works. It definitely works. So my next question, guys, is are you still skeptical? Don't worry. I already anticipated that. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All right, guys, here's my hand, which I'm going to be testing on. And I don't know, just to even convince you even more, I'm going to try this on several different foundations.
that's it for today's Fix It Friday topic. I want to talk about something that's kind of really important to me and I really wanted to run it by you guys and see what you think. So one of the young ladies that I'm subscribed to here on YouTube, her name is Shayna Moore. Hi Shayna, I love you girl. I love, love, love her videos. She is amazing. I started noticing in her recent, at least in her recent videos, um, at the end of her videos, like in the end slate, she puts little snippets of other users' videos to kind of like essentially shout them out, which I think is really, really cool that people are doing that. And I think it's so sweet. I'm always inspired by some of the things that she did. She did this thing called the Red Lips Project and I jumped on board and you'll have to go look on her videos and see what that's about. But I kind of want to essentially adopt the same thing on here on my channel because I feel like my mission here is to not only make this one of the best and most, uh, abundant spaces and hubs for women of color, but I want this to also help open more doors for other people. I've created an email account for you guys, and basically this email account is strictly for submissions. Just tell me what your channel name is, um, send me video clips of your, um, of your content, and of course I would need your permission to post it here on my channel, but I wanna be do, I wanna do the same thing. Like, I think it would be so cool, because at the end of the day, if you have a thousand subscribers, or if you have two million subscribers, if your videos are dope, I'm gonna support you, period. And I just thought like there's so many smaller channels that I genuinely enjoy watching that you guys otherwise probably don't really get to hear about. In my previous video when I was talking about how a lot of women of color just don't get a lot of shine on YouTube, it, I'm not saying that YouTube is racist or biased. I hope people don't understand. I hope that's not what people were trying to um, like get off of what I was saying. But what I'm basically trying to say is like if one person opens the door, it opens the door for a lot of other people. And I think that so many of you guys just don't know there's amazing people who do beautiful videos here on YouTube that are dark skin. Unfortunately, you just don't really get to see a ton of them. And it's just purely analytical. It's some other things, but not really related to YouTube. And um, I want to help change that. So when I say that this is going to be one of the biggest beauty hubs for women of color and we're gonna bring people up with us like I mean that wholeheartedly so this is gonna be a first step in that direction so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below well you don't, don't try not to shout your channel out in the comments because they're all gonna get marked as spam I can't control that YouTube does that email me at the account I've created and I will I would be like honored to be able to showcase all of the amazing channels at the end stuff that you guys are doing I would prefer it to be beauty related it's not mandatory but I would prefer it to kind of just be in the makeup, hair, even if it's fitness. I don't mind sharing fitness channels. I want to see some cooking channels. Like, I want to see anything related to beauty, health. Like, I'm, I'm anything. I'm going to leave the door open. But I do, like I said, want it to kind of be beauty or aesthetic related in some way. Or health, fitness, dieting, anything of that nature. Because obviously that's why you come to my channel. The last thing that I want to say about that is... By all means, you don't have to only have dark skin. Please don't think that this is about black, white. This is mainly just to empower a lot of women of color, but that in no way means that I'm going to exclude anyone that's not like dark skin. You can be white, Asian, I don't care. I love you guys and I want to see each and every one of you succeed, especially those of you guys that are just working so hard. And I've worked my, excuse my French, ASS off to get this channel to where it is. Sometimes it takes a little encouragement and if that means being that for you guys, then so be it. I would love to start doing something like that maybe once a week, once every other week, something. So yeah, let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you guys at my next video, which is tomorrow, AKA two days from now by the time I upload this video, Saturday. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.